guys welcome back to my channel I hope you're having a wonderful wonderful day so I'm coming back at you guys with a really really easy Halloween look so let me tell you what inspired me for this look my daughter said she wanted to be a pumpkin for Halloween so I ordered her a pumpkin Halloween costume she got it in the mail she said mommy I don't want to be a pumpkin I want to be an astronaut so I thought well, what can I do with this pumpkin costume here and I thought you know what it is a one-size-fits-all costume. I can wear it over top of a black shirt and I can do some pumpkin makeup. I have seen so many different variations of this, but I really wanted to make it an easy look. This is a cracked pumpkin and my inspiration was on Pinterest. This girl right here, I'm not sure of her name, so if you do, let me know because I'd love to give her credit. But she had just the face part and I wanted to take it down my neck to make it look like it was really cracked. So I have this costume. I got it off on Amazon for $10 dollars has a little pumpkin hat and then I am going to put this costume on right here and I thought that'd be really cute and this is a really fun and easy costume idea so without further ado if you guys want to see how I got this cracked pumpkin then keep watching Hey guys, okay, I'm gonna begin by applying foundation to the side of my face that is not the pumpkin. I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal, this is the infallible 24 hour foundation. I love this. Then I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm gonna apply a little under my eyes as well as on my eyelid, and this is just going to prep the lid for shadow. Then I'm going to go in with my Cody Air Sponge just to set that concealer and I'm going to set it a little on my forehead as well. I'm going to go in, I'm going to do my brows just like normal. I'm going in with the Benefit Browsings just to fill in any sparse areas. Then I'm going in with the Morphe 3503 palette. This is relatively new. I just got this from Ulta. I love it, you guys. It's so pigmented, but I'm going to start out with a lighter orange as a transition shade, and you just keep blending and blending, and then I'm slowly going to get darker and darker, and the darker I get is going to go underneath. Then I'm going to go in with a shimmer, apply that with my finger because it's going to be the most pigmented. Then I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder to wipe that away. And now I'm going to curl my lashes and go in with two mascaras. First, L'Oreal Telescopic and then Tom Ford. This is the Emotion Proof, which I love, and I'm doing my bottom lashes. Now I'm going to go in and bronze up the skin. Then I'm going to go with MAC Peaches, just to give me a little bit of rosy cheeks. Then I'm going to go in with some highlighter, and we are good to go for the face. So I just want to do the portion of the face that... Um, did not have the pumpkin now I'm gonna go in with this is just a wet and wild liner and I'm going to kind of start to sketch out where the pumpkins going to be and I'm gonna take it down my neck as well this liner was only 99 cents and it worked great now I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna start to draw the eye so I'm just gonna kind of put little dots it kind of helps me guide myself when I'm doing the triangle and I'm just gonna connect the dots that's the easiest way for me to do it Then I'm going to draw a little triangle on my nose. You can either make it a big triangle or a little one. I opted for a little one because I thought that would be the easiest. And I'm going to hold off on the mouth. Now I'm going to go in. This is the Snazaroo Classic Face Paint. This is in the orange. This works really well. It's a water-based paint. I've tried some other paints, but this one is really, really good. So I just applied it with a paintbrush I got from Michaels. I applied it down my neck all over my face and it's really really buildable and then as I got closer to the line I was a little more careful but you don't have to worry about getting like right up close to the line because we are going to do a little bit of shading later. Then I'm going to go back in with that Morphe 3503 palette and I'm going to go in with the orange shadow. You want to make sure that you set the face paint so I'm just going to go in with a face brush and I'm going to apply that powder all over to set it. Then I'm going in with a liquid lip, you guys. I have to tell you, I've experimented with all kinds of face paint and I had a hard time with the blacks really, really showing up. So you know what I did? I went to CVS, I got this wet and wild liquid lip and you can see it's not the best on my eye, but it works just as good as buying face paint. So I just apply that with a paintbrush and then I'm going in with that black shadow to set it and I really found that when I set it it looked um, nicer so I kind of took a little bit to be a little more precise with the eyeshadow but 
it ended up working. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch out the jack-o'-lantern teeth and I just had a picture in front of me to use as a guide. You guys can do this however you like. So I saw some people doing the math before they did the orange, but I found that to be a little more difficult because then you were going to have to be careful around the jack-o'-lantern teeth to fill it in. And I just find it easier to do the orange first. So I'm just going to continue to sketch out the teeth really simple. And I'm still using that wet and wild liner. Then I'm going to go back in with the liquid lip. I'm telling you, I think liquid lip is the best way to do it. I'm going to first apply it to my lips. Then I'm going to fill in the teeth. And you can take your time with this if you want. If you really want to, you can use a paintbrush and you don't have to use the wand that comes with it. It's your preference, whatever is easiest for you. Okay, and then I just wanna make sure you can't really see much of my lip. So I'm gonna go back in with the shadow from the Morphe. 3503 palette and I'm going to set the cream with that black shadow. Anytime you use a cream, you definitely want to set it with a powder just so that it will stay and it'll make it a little more vibrant too. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in with a really skinny paintbrush and I'm going to take a brown shadow from the same palette. The Morphe palette is wonderful. I love it. It's so pigmented, has so many colors. And I'm just going to start to sketch the lines on my face and I'm going to take it all the way down my neck as well. Okay, now I'm going to go in. This is the Urban Decay Naked Basics Naked 2 palette, and you can really use any. You can use the Kat Von D shade and light too. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to go against the cracked line, and I'm going to put in kind of, this is like a really good, this is like a brownish gray shade, and it's just going to kind of make it a little more three-dimensional. I'm going to do that to my face, and I'm also going to do that on my neck as well. And you can use any type of gray shade, anything like that will work. Now I'm going to go back in. I'm using the black eyeshadow and I just want to darken this up a little bit. It's going to make it little, a little more intense and make it stand out. I'm going to outline the crack and I'm going to do my neck as well. Okay, now I'm going to go and I'm going to add those cracks. Again, I'm using that wet and wild pencil you can do this however you want I was just kind of making like little branches almost but there are the cracks of the pumpkin and I will do this on my face and I will also go down and do this on my neck as well it just makes it look a little more realistic that way now I'm going to go back in with some eyeshadow with a an eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to kind of smudge in those lines. It just makes it look a little more realistic. Take a little bit of yellow eyeshadow. This is going to make it look like a real pumpkin, just kind of with a little bit of highlights. And that completes the look. I hope you guys enjoy. Have a wonderful Halloween and be safe.